In this movie, I want to explain the difference between MIDI tracks and instrument tracks. So I'm going to create a session here. We'll call this MIDI tracks, put it on the desktop. And I have an empty session, so I will shift command N to create an audio track. And remember that the hotkey for switching between mono and stereo is command and left and right arrow on a Mac. It would be control and left and right arrow on a PC. And I will add some other types of tracks. I will add a stereo instrument track. I'll add another type of track. I'll use my keys this time. Let's do a MIDI track. And notice that the mono stereo part goes away when you do that. And I'll create one more stereo aux. And back in the day, switch to the mix window here. And by the way, the way you know these apart are the different icons down here. There's your audio icon, there's your instrument icon, there's your MIDI icon, and your aux icon. And that's kind of how you can tell them apart, except that the auxes don't record anything. They simply carry information. So back in the day, we would record MIDI on a MIDI track and send it to the right plugin using the sends here. So we kind of don't do it that way anymore. An instrument track can hold the MIDI information and send it to the right kind of sound. Let's call it a font, sort of a sound font. And it contains it all in one track. And so we don't have these cumbersome layouts where we have more tracks than we really want to have. So instrument is a better way to do it. So I will go ahead and this is tricky. In Pro Tools, if I delete right now, because all these tracks are lit up, I will actually delete all four of them. So what I'm gonna do is to create a click track, and now he's the selected guy, and I can click on this guy, control and delete him. It's really interesting in Pro Tools. Sometimes you have to sort of fool it into doing what you want it to do. I actually don't need my audio track anymore either, and I'll delete it. So because all those tracks were selected, I just sort of had to click outside of it or create another kind of track so that I could unselect them and go ahead and delete the ones I didn't want. So I think I'm gonna make this a shaker part. I'm gonna double click on this, S-H-A-K-E-R. All right, so I think I'm good to go here. I have my click. Let me see what my tempo is like. I'm gonna go to Window and Transport. and I'm at 120 beats a minute, so I'm going to change my tempo, click this guy, make him go away, and tell it that I want it to be 170 beats a minute. And let's see if that's the right groove for me. That seems like that's about right. So on my shaker, it doesn't have any plugin in there yet. Let me see if I can make this work. Let's move our transport out of the way. And I will send some MIDI information to a plugin that's going to contain the expand plugin. So on my insert, multi channel plugin, instrument, scroll down to expand. The little patch that I want, I believe, is in the loops, which is folder number 28. And I think it's this 003 Not So Busy Shakers. Now let me see if I have input. Okay, it's always a good thing when you hear things. So the MIDI information is coming into this instrument track. It's being sent to this expand plugin. And let's take a brief look at how this plugin is structured. So there are A, B, C, and D. There's four separate pieces of this plugin. Let me turn off B, C, and D. And I'm just gonna hit middle C here. And the downbeat is here, here. So it's an answer beat, right? So let's turn on B. Now you can hear the downbeat, downbeat, boom. Okay, so let's turn back on C and D. And what they have over here is eight feel shakers. If it's too much, you can mute one or two tracks. So if you wanted the downbeat, you would keep B if you want to get rid of the downbeat, mute B. You have lots of choices here for how to mix these together. 
levels on all four of them. And we'll get into this later on, the stuff I'll hear on the right, but pretty handy little shaker menu here. Let me go ahead and see if I can record this into Pro Tools and hit F12 and play it. Let me double check here and make sure I have a count off. Uh, I have two bars. Let me activate the count off. Click is operational. I should be able to hear two bars and then I'll play. Okay, and I let up just a little bit early there to get that little ring out on the echo. So we'll turn click off and play it. Ah, I'm still in count off, right? I need to deactivate my count off. And that'll get me started. That should allow me to create my next little part. So we'll do that in the next movie.